What's going on guys? My name is Marcel Flores. Welcome to my YouTube channel One Dapper Street and welcome to part two of the fan outfit review video that I posted recently looking at your guys' quarantine outfits and just outfits in general because a lot of you just submitted your favorite looks which is great. I am hoping to go through 20 to 30 of them today. As always I don't pick or choose anything specifically. I kind of just go through the submissions. I get hundreds every time that I ask for you guys to submit some looks. So it's a little bit crazy to manage all of that. Throughout this process I want you to please remember that Fashion and style are subjective, this is just my opinion, and you know, anything I say isn't like a law, but I'm just trying to hopefully offer you guys some constructive criticism that if you want to, hopefully you'll implement into your style going forward. Let's get started with this look from Ayub, and we're gonna start off with a few more winter heavy looks though, because I know in some places it is still kind of cold, but it is May. Um, really nice look, gray on gray with an oversized black and dark gray scarf, then with the white sneakers in the contrast. Really nice and a beautiful photo too. Don't really have much of a feedback except for I, the way you rolled the pants at the bottom, it's a bit off. Maybe try like one bigger cuff rather than like a double cuff that's really, really small. Next up we've got Yaya in a very fancy look. I like the getup, clearly you know what you're doing. I like the way you're tying in the brown, I like the border of the turtleneck with the darker brown shoes that have like an under hue of that. I'm not entirely sure if I love the cream against the white so much, but that would be the only thing in this. Yeah, looks dope. And it looks like you're at home. I'm like, if this, if this is how you chill during quarantine, man, props to you. Then we've got Adil. Um, like I said, a couple more winter focused outfits. All black with a cream turtleneck. It looks really nice. Definitely like a, a very standout look. I think it's a, per, for me personally, it's a bit too much to have the, the croc leather duffel with those boots and then such a statement coat. I would try and like maybe just switch out the duffel back to keep it a little bit more mellow, but that's just me. If you're currently just feel like you want to express yourself a whole lot more and like go all out, that's that's great. I think it's a solid look, but that would be my feedback. Moving on to Sufyan's look right here in a shearling corduroy trucker jacket. Really like that. Like how you matched it with the boots. Don't love love the boots. They're, you guys know I'm very specific when it comes to footwear. I like very particular things. I love the jeans. I think the turtleneck looks a bit too tight. Um, especially over the more loose, uh, underneath the more loose trucker jacket. I think I would go for something a bit more relaxed. Then we've got Isaac in a really simple look, Vance, black jeans, achromatic. It looks really nice. The fit of the, of the denim jacket looks a bit off. Maybe it's because the, the hands are up, but otherwise it's a solid look, keeping it really basic. Then we've got Huzaifa experimenting with some earth tones. You guys know I'm all about that. I like the way you layered it. It's a bit dark. I can't see the fit of the pants entirely. Eh, you know, I feel like I always default to the one thing. I would switch out the shoes. The shoes look a little bit too flat for me. I think everything else looks really nice and proper in terms of fit. I think the shoes could be, could add a little bit more to the outfit rather than just being a part of the outfit, if that makes any sense. Then we've got Charlie and his wife in this photo. So dope. That's like a proper quarantine look. You can't tell me it's not. The tie-dye all over. It looks really, really nice. I don't know if you'd wear that on a daily basis, but I think it looks dope. Then we've got Kushal in black cream and black moccasin driver shoes, I think. I like it. I think the shoes are what throws me off a little bit. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like I sound like a broken record, just repeating myself. But I like the black denim jacket with the black jeans. That's obviously easy. Then to spice it up with a color, I think is great. It just depends on, on how you integrate it later. I think a pair of sneakers would have worked a little bit better here. Then we've got Bryce in a nice field jacket, denim shirt, black jeans, white sneakers, solid. I feel like I've worn this look on this channel probably several times. <laughs> then we've got Jimmy, definitely <laughs> prepping for the quarantine here with a bottle of Aperol. Um, I like the floral shirt. I don't like the bomber jacket itself up top, nor necessarily in combination. I think like a light blue denim jacket will work a lot better. Love the sneakers, they look dope. The pants look good from what I can tell, the, the black. Yeah, I think the only thing that's throwing me off is the jacket, otherwise it's a solid look. Next up we've got Rafai in a suede trucker jacket, brown suede, that looks super dope. Don't like the shirt underneath it. I wish it didn't have contrast buttons and maybe like, maybe it was like a denim shirt to like really, really bring out the vibe of the jacket. Like the jeans and then the brown boots are a choice that you guys know I wear black and brown, but when I tend to, it's like just black and brown, nothing else. I, I wish the boots were brown to like really tie this together. Then we've got Abe, 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 Abe. I apologize if I'm butchering, butchering any, any of your names. I'm trying to do my best. Love this look. Beautiful, really nice dark blue jeans. The only thing is that the leather jacket looks really, really shiny. I like mine to be a bit more matted, but that's entirely up to you. Well paired with the boots and the hoodie underneath the jacket. It looks great. Quick side note. I want you guys to please listen to me when I talk on stories and send me full body pictures. 
I don't want to just review like a like a portrait shot or like an upper body. I think an outfit is a lot for me, especially about the shoes. So please make sure in the future, if I don't review your outfit now and you want to submit it, first of all, to follow me on Instagram, turn on your post notifications so you know when this is happening, if you missed it. And then third, to please send me full body looks. Thank you. Next up, we've got Tommy in a yellow hoodie, black jeans, brown shoes and a black moto. I don't even think it's a leather jacket. I think it's like a, like a cotton jacket. Um, the shoes, yeah, I think it's the shoes primarily. I, I wouldn't go, like, there's nothing indicating that you're going, especially with the backpack in your hand, there's nothing really indicating that you're going for a classy look. So the Chelsea's, um, if those were like faded black suede Chelsea's, or like dark gray suede Chelsea's, like something that's a bit more rugged, that's a bit more, lends itself more to being more casual, that'd be cool, but I think these look a little bit too polished for this look. And personally, I'm not the biggest fan of moto jackets that, you know, like I, I prefer proper biker jackets. Then we've got Issy in a white t-shirt, ripped jeans, boots. It looks dope, I, I can't, can't really argue with it. The fact that you're wearing such light colors with such dark brown is a bit much for me personally when it comes to contrast. But it's not like that, that really, that really just seems to be personal taste. I think overall it's a really solid look. Then we've got Michaela in all white with a unbuttoned blue and white striped shirt and white sneakers. Looks really solid to me. I, I like this look. Like it's a really nice summer spring look. Keeping it all white and then adding just a, a fun shirt on top is honestly like one of the easiest ways to spruce up a great summer outfit that's not gonna contain heat. And like adding layers in the summer can be really difficult, but Shirts unbuttoned up top is usually my solution for it. So I think you did a great job. Next up, we've got Mahir in a striped blue shirt with blue navy cargo pants and black sneakers. I really like those pants. Like I want to know where they're from. They're really dope. And I really, really like the shirt too. Uh, I think just if the bleakers, this, these exact sneakers were in white, not in black, I would absolutely love it. That's the only thing throwing me off, but I love the sneakers themselves from what I can tell in the photo. I think it's a really, really nice look. Like, <laughs> kind of like the same shirt I'm wearing right now. Obviously blue, not green, but you get it. Then we've got Ved in a nice scoop neck shirt. My boy, you working out, man. You hitting the gym <laughs> and the stash too. Like, I love your look first and foremost. I think uh, the skinny jeans with the shirt, it, it's, it's a bit of an outdated look, but I think it works for you, like would, would I wear it like this? No, but I also don't have the body that you do. And I think it accentuates your features nicely. I don't love the shoes. I think they could be a bit fresher, but that's it. <laughs> don't love the shoes, I swear. This should be just like, hey, yeah, love your outfit, but don't love the shoes. <laughs> that could be the entire video. Then we've got Brian in high-waisted black jeans that are a loose fit with a biker jacket. And I don't, I think the t-shirt is just white and it's an effect over on top that looks a little bit like it's sparkling. I like it a lot. I think it's a great fashion, like editorial type way to, to rock this look, which is a classic look, but tucking in your shirt into high-waisted jeans that are a looser fit, I think that's a, that's a great option. Next up, we've got Usman in a white denim jacket. I love how many of you guys are wearing trucker jackets. Like, I love them. They're so versatile. They work with so many different things, so I'm glad you guys love them as much as I do, apparently. In a um, brown sweater, khaki chinos, and then the tassel loafers. Don't like the shoes. Um, the, like personally, like I don't like that there's a wingtip detail on it. And when I wear loafers, I like wearing loafers that have more of a welt, that have like more of a base going, not the ones that wrap around your foot. And then the, the white denim jacket is too much of a bright point of the outfit, I think. Again, uh, unless you tie it in with white sneakers, which I think would work great here, it's a little bit too much for me up top when otherwise you have a really nice muted earth color story going. Next up, a look from David and I can't see a lot, but it looks like a suede over shirt, which I love. I, I wanted to include this because I think it looks like a really nice outfit. I don't have too much to comment on it for me because I can't really see it, but otherwise because I just really like it. I like the way you have the earth tones up top and then the navy on the bottom. I think that works really well for me. Then we have Tobias um, Bauer, name on the best Deutsch, servus. In a yellow Vetmall t-shirt like that, ripped black jeans and the McQueens. Looks dope to me. I like this. Here we have a simple look from Pablo in a soft pink hoodie and cargo shorts. I think the shorts, if you look around, not to draw everybody's attention to his crotch area, but if you look around here, you see how the, the creasing is just a little bit extreme. Like it shows that the shorts are too big. So what I do for one, like I wear oversized shorts every now and then, but I make sure to pull them, to pull the fabric to the side and kind of fold it over to the military tuck and then wear a belt to like hold it in place. So then the crease isn't happening in the middle 
or in like same thing in the middle and the back, but rather on the side, so it's a little bit more subtle. So that, that's just a general tip for you guys. But I like it, nice quarantine fit. Let's do a couple more, and then honestly, I feel like this is such a nice way to connect with you guys right now. I'm gonna do a part three, so if you don't wanna miss that, especially those of you that have submitted their outfits already, make sure to subscribe on this channel, and like I said, if you missed the submission, make sure to follow me on Instagram, because that's where I usually post and ask for you guys to submit your outfits. Make sure to follow me on there, turn on post notifications, check out my stories. Usually, you'll find it on my stories. Here we've got a look from Kevin. Uh, navy blazer, cream turtleneck, blue jeans, desert boots. Beautiful. Next up, a look from Hamza in a double-breasted white blazer against an all-black look. I love that you're wearing that white blazer and I think it's beautiful. I think for it, like it fits you really well around the body. I would love to see a prop, really beautifully tailored black pant with it and maybe a shoe that's a little bit more out there because right now it's just like a really loud statement without the rest of the outfit following through properly. Like it's cool that you kept it all black but something that has a little bit more pizzazz to like reflect what you're going for here. But I, I, I do love that blazer. And then let's finish up with this look from Tyler. I feel like I used to take a lot of photos like that myself, literally with the knee out and the, like the face down with the hat on. White t-shirt, make sure you steam that, bro, or iron it. I know it's not the best, like I, I, I'm lazy too when it comes to that, but it makes a big difference in terms of how the outfit overall looks. I like the blue ripped jeans, the Nike shoes look great. And then the, the blue jacket is a really nice um, pop. Yeah, it looks, it's a solid, really casual, but solid, solid look, I think. And with that, let's wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. For all of you that aren't in the video, I hope you're learning from the comments that I'm making about other people's outfits. Hopefully some of that applies to you as well and you learn something from these videos. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, make sure, concerns, hopefully not, make sure to leave those down below in the comment section. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon with the next one. I hope all of you are staying safe and sane at home. Much love from me in Los Angeles. Stay dapper, guys. Bye.